inn í þetta segja bara frá þessu mm. að hérna það er engin ástæða að vera neitt hérna, leið út í hérna jökul því að hann gefur okkur margvalt meira en það sem hann skemmdi bara ég skipti fyrir okkur mm. hann, hann gefur okkur heitt vatn til að hitta púsinn og gera allt mögulegt við og hann gefur okkur líka vatn frá jöklinum til að búti ramag og hann gefur okkur skjól fyrir norðanáttinni þannig að það er miklu betra að rækta hérna og svo gefur hann líka bara hann er bara svo flottur mm. þegar hann er hvítur og flottur og vorinn þá bara stendur mér út og horfa á það hvað þetta er flott It might look like a corroded pipe but this is the top of a borehole that provides Olafur and his family with almost limitless supplies of practically free hot water heated by geothermal energy. So it's just like... It's about 1989 when we were here. I had always thought that it was cold and I wanted to try to bore it. And we bore it 1,000 meters and it's 60 or 60 or 61 water that comes here. Einn og halvi lítið á sekundu og engin pumpa. Og þetta rennur, rennur sjálft heim á bænum því að þetta stendur 50 metrum herra en bærinn. Volcanic activity deep underground heats the bedrock above. And that means any water that permeates into it gets turned to steam. As it rises it cools and falls to be heated again. For Olaver's father, accessing plentiful hot water simply meant sinking a borehole of the right depth in the right place. And being a simple idea, it's no surprise that they're not the only Icelanders making use of geothermal energy. This is Hetlis Heithi, Iceland's largest geothermal power plant. The boreholes might be bigger, but the basic principle's the same, and this plant provides low-cost hot water and heating for around 100,000 people living in the capital, Reykjavík. And that's not the only way it helps meet Iceland's energy needs. Uh, what we get from the ground is a combination of fluid and steam. We separate the steam uh, from the fluid and use the steam to turn the blades uh, of turbines and that's how we get electricity. We have installed capacity of just over 300 uh, megawatts so this plant suffices for the use of the, all the capital area in the electricity uh, and about, uh, um, should we say, one half of the hot water production. Energy prices in Iceland are about a third of the UK. And as if that wasn't enough of a bonus, geothermal energy is also helping boost the tourist industry. At the Blue Lagoon, Water from the nearby geothermal power plant has been used to create a series of hot water pools and that attracts visitors from around the world. Every year we have more than 500,000 visitors to the Blue Lagoon and uh, they come uh, both from Europe, Scandinavia and from the US and, and some from Asia. People uh, tend to like to come here, it's uh, something both to look at and, and, and for most people to go and enjoy, enjoy the benefits. And uh, last year actually National Geographic selected Blue Lagoon as uh, one of the 25 wonders of the world, the natural wonders of the world, and, and that uh, has given us uh, a very positive attention as well. From spectacular waterfalls to hot springs and geysers, every year thousands of tourists also come to see photograph and play around in Iceland's stunning volcanic landscapes. 